So I made a quick stop at my local Goodwill and I found something that I had never found before at a thrift store. But first, as always, I always check out the vinyl records first. This thrift store happens to have like a really bad selection of vinyl records. They never have any at all. Or I should say any of the ones I'm looking for, but their selection is very bad. I still check them out just in case I happen to find my holy grail. Then I check out the Christmas stuff. I did find this uh, Department 56 uh, Mickey's Cottage. But I ended up leaving it because it was priced at $13 and used it would sell for like around 30 to 40 bucks. It's pretty good sale, but I actually have a lot of Department 56 houses right now, so I just didn't pick it up. But I did get this uh, DVD VCR combo priced at $15. A little, It was priced up a little bit, but I still picked it up. It should sell for around 40 to $50. This duck here was pretty cool. It looked like a zombie duck. I went and checked out all the shoes and I did spot this set of Nike Cortez shoes. Um, they're kids shoes, they have like the Velcro. Um, these actually sell pretty good if they were the adult kind. Um, these were priced at like $14 and they were kind of beat up so I just decided not to get them. If they would have been adult shoes I would have picked them up because they actually sell really good. And here's the find of the day. Two Pendleton flannel shirts priced at $7.99. Um, I've never seen these at a thrift store, I picked them up. They should sell for around $50 to $60 each. I was also checking out this Dr. Pepper crew neck sweater priced at $8. I didn't get it though because it would probably sell for around like 10 or 12 bucks. But I did pick up this Guayabera. It's a 5XL, big and tall Guayabera, uh, made in Yucatan. Uh, I've never seen a Guayabera 5XL so I definitely picked it up. I also got this San Francisco 49ers shirt. It's brand new with tags made uh, from New Era. Not a whole lot of profit to be made. It was priced at 7 bucks. It would probably sell for like maybe 15 but it's brand new so I picked it up anyways. Plus. Um, it's football season, so I, go I went ahead and got it. I'm sure somebody will want it for 15 bucks. I also checked out this Harry Potter jacket. I did not pick it up. It was $15, and I didn't find any exact comps on it, so I just didn't pick it up. All right, so this was just like a quick 30-minute stop at Goodwill. Just stopped real quick to see what I could find. So I did pick up that DVD-VCR combo, the two Pendleton's 49er shirt, and the Guayabera from Yucatan. I spent about $45 total. Altogether, everything should sell for a possible 185 bucks minus $45 cost goods that I spent buying it. eBay fees, I'd probably profit around 100 bucks altogether. Not bad for a 30 minute stop at Goodwill. Usually at thrift stores, I do spend a lot more time, um, but when I'm driving by a thrift store, I can't help just kind of pulling in real quick, especially if I have time. And you never know what you're gonna find. Those Pendleton shirts I think are pretty cool. Uh, a lot of guys want those. I already have them up on eBay. They do have a lot of views, watchers. I don't doubt that they're going to sell for at least 50 to 60 bucks. I want to thank everybody for watching. I want to thank everybody that has been subscribing already. 220 subscribers. I appreciate you guys. If you're not subscribed, do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button right now. It's free to subscribe, so go ahead and do that. Also, drop me a comment. Let me know, let me know where you guys are watching from. Uh, what do you guys think about all this? If you guys do some picking yourselves. If not, um, let me know if you guys saw anything in the video that I maybe should have picked up that I missed. Um, hit that like button for me. Share this with somebody that you think might like it. And see you guys next time on Picking for the Low.